Hello and welcome to the new video and in this video I will show you how you can install the matplotlib library within Jupyter Notebook. After installation I will show you how you can import the library as well to start doing your work. And before I start the video um, one quick information that uh, related to installation, uninstallation and uh, these type of scenarios like updating a package and all you can find the additional video links in the description which will be helpful in scenarios when you need to uninstall any package or you want to update any package you will be able to do it easily with the within the Jupyter notebook all right so to install the package we need to first use the pip command so pip and to install we will say install install is the keyword which pip will identify and then it will you will need to ident, you will need to mention what library you want so here we want to install the matplotlib so once you enter this you need to press shift enter if you are in windows or shift return if you are in mac so shift enter when you will press it you will see that it will start doing the processing and it will going to take a couple of minutes based on how quickly or, uh, or fast your internet is how quickly it is able to identify and fast your internet is so as you can see it uh, it was collecting the matplotlib library dependencies and then it has installed the library successfully installed matplotlib is finally what you are getting it so once you have installed you can library you can import the library using the import keyword so import matplotlib so you can even stop here and press enter and it has executed and you can start using matplotlib dot any functions or anything which is related to this so for example after dot i pressed the tab and it is showing you all these different methods and functions which is available in this library so that's about how you can download and install the matplotlib within the Jupyter notebook also you can import and uh, don't forget to check out other videos in the comments which is related to uninstallation of the library or updating the library and scenarios like those and you will find it useful whenever you are working in the in the Jupyter notebook environment so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.